नमस्कार एंड वेलकम टू द एपिसोड सिक्स ऑफ वीडियो सीरीज डीके हल फॉर प्रैक्टिकल बेनिफिट्स वी सजेस्ट वाचिंग द वीडियो टिल द एंड फ्रॉम एन अर्लियर एपिसोड वी नो ह्यूमस इज एन एक्सट्रीमली वैल्युएबल एंड हाईली डिकम्पोज फॉर्म ऑफ ऑर्गेनिक मैटर लेट एस ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड फर्दर ह्यूमिक एसिड फलबिक एसिड एंड ह्यूमिन इज कलेक्टिवली रेफर्ड टू एज ह्यूमस ह्यूमस being an important ingredient of soil is formed through the decomposition of organic matter including plants and animal residues it is so powerful that even a small amounts can bring positive results soils devoid of humus are known as barren lands humic acid is a dark brown humic substance soluble in water even at higher soil ph Humic acid is a group of molecules that help plant roots receive more water and nutrients. It acts as a conditioner for the soil and as a biocatalyst or biostimulant for the plants. It can increase the crop yield while its deficiency may result in heavy yield losses. Naturally, plants harvest carbon dioxide from the atmosphere, use solar energy to build plant biomass. feeding insects and animals as plants and animals die they contribute their carbon back to the bottom of the bog in the form of humus this is a lengthy process taking millions of years in the natural environment application of organic matter or compost containing amino acids helps to remineralize a soil but with less than 5% of calories hence it is quite difficult to have a 100% efficient conversion into humic substances therefore to continue with crop cultivation we either need a huge amount of organic matter which is not available or will have to find some alternative to meet the demand on a regular basis therefore it is suggested to apply humic acid in soil as they are known to produce physical chemical and biological benefits physically humic acids modify the structure of the soil which prevents water and nutrient losses and lowers soil erosion in lighter soils and improves aeration in heavy soils in general soils becomes dark and absorb more energy from the sun chemically humic acids regulate the ph value of soils that is neutralizes acidic as well as alkaline soils or in other words application of humic acid can help to address the normal soil ph providing favorable conditions for crop cultivation it increases root growth hence more uptake of nitrogen phosphorus and potassium it converts nutrients like magnesium calcium and iron into easily available forms to be used by the crops biologically humic acid stimulate the plant and the activities of microorganisms it produces plant enzymes that enhance the natural resistance of plants against diseases and pests now the next is fulvic acid it is believed that fulvic acid originates as a product of microbial metabolism and it is not synthesized as a carbon or energy source however there are number of formulations in the market and it is difficult to know about their real source therefore here we discuss only fulvic acid fulvic acid is a yellow to yellowish brown humic substance soluble in water under all ph conditions it consists mostly of carbon hydrogen oxygen and nitrogen fulvic acids contain nearly double the oxygen as that of humic acid and hence they are biologically more active due to smaller molecular size than humic acids fulvic acid can carry vital nutrients from the soil into the plants presence of humic acid in soil helps in better root growth rapid breakdown of toxins and detoxify soil pollutants 
whereas over plants fulvic acids can increase respiration transpiration and enhance photosynthesis with improved nutrient uptake even under adverse weather conditions in totality use of humic and fulvic acid improves nutrient use efficiency thereby increasing the crop yield by up to 70% it improves the quality of the end product and brings down the fertilizer use by up to 30% now the question is how it should be applied humic and fulvic acid can be applied both in soil and over the plants however as far as possible humic acid should preferably be applied in the soil and fulvic acid through foliar applications there are several formulations available in the market hence doses depends upon concentration of the product and its actual quality therefore it is suggested to follow the recommendations based on crop specific trials conducted nearby it is important to mention that overdosing should always be avoided as it could be harmful thanks for watching like the video and subscribe the channel share with friends and give feedback so that we can include new topics in future